the definition of prayer that's in the Bible dictionary is probably one of the most utilized pieces of the Bible dictionary that I've used as a teacher. Because prayer is such a question that we have. How do I pray? What's the purpose of prayer? What do I do when my prayers aren't being answered? <clears throat> because we could also take it this way is I'm trying to do these things to build the kingdom. I'm praying to the Father in the name of Christ, but it's not being answered. I don't feel like it's being consecrated or being made holy. But there's this great paragraph in the Bible dictionary under prayer that says, as soon as we learn the true relationship in which we stand toward God, namely God is our Father and we are His children, then at once prayer becomes natural and instinctive on our part. Many of the so-called difficulties about prayer arise from forgetting this relationship. Hmm. Prayer wow. is the act by which the will of the father and the will of the child are brought into correspondence with each other. The object of prayer is not to change the will of God, but to secure for ourselves and for others blessings that God is already willing to grant, but that are made conditional on our asking for them. Blessings require some work or effort on our part before we can obtain them. Prayer is a form of work and is an appointed means for obtaining the highest of all blessings. And so this idea of communication between a child and a father mm -hmm. is what the whole purpose of prayer is. But then again, coming back to the relationship, what is my relationship with God and how that relationship is improved is through communication with him. I just need to talk to him, but I also need to listen. Okay. Like prayer, it's not just you saying something, it's listening, it's being still, it's waiting for that answer or understanding that that answer may not come when I want it to because once again, it's not my will, it's his will. And it's not my time, it's his time. And I think that's what all of this is, is like learning the patience to, to be obedient, to listen and to just go along that path, to follow the way until we get to our end goal.